Okay, good morning guys. Um, I've got some quite exciting news and uh, managed to get a Hydrovane um, model number six, 66 from 2003. Uh, picked it up from a boat that ran aground here like 10 years ago. Um, exchange for surfboard and um, a laser jet printer that we had that was too big really for the boat. So that was a really good price and everything. Um, there's no vein, I'm going to build that. Um, and there's some other issues, but I'm going to show you what those are now. Um, so yeah, bridge change. So here we have all the pieces for the bracket. It was um, some quite serious rust on it. Uh, so I decided to paint them and uh, there's the other part for the brackets, this is the mechanism. The mechanism had, uh, this is aluminium not brass, not, not like the newer models and so I painted it, it was in bad condition. This had a crack going all the way down there, um, so I filled that um, but it was already welded on the front here. Uh, with new threaded inserts, um, stainless ones welded in there. Um, so, yeah, I just painted that to give it some protection as well. Uh, you can kind of see the thread insert over there. I've put some primer, grey primer, around on, on that one rather than white paint as well, just to because uh, it's different metal searching. All of these nub screws I can't get out. Um, so, um, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, I could do, but I'm not going to get it out without breaking it. Um, it doesn't have the worm gear like the newer models. There is this. Um, maybe I can make some auto adjustment mechanism for it. Uh, uh, there's just a, um, someone's botched together uh, aluminium pad that um, is uh, screwed down into position with this M12 bolt, um, so that'll work at least. Um, I'll see, maybe I'll make something better. Uh, the, yeah, the new version has a worm gear there that you can adjust with the rope. Um, maybe I'll make something similar, but uh, that's not gonna stop it working. Um, here, these holes, um, were damaged to become angled and oval shape so I've closed them up a bit with some epoxy and glass not finished yet obviously but they're looking rounder now obviously I'll um, fill them until they're a bit smaller than M10 and uh, then drill them out again this for adjusting the uh, there's normally a handle here I could put a handle on that um, but, you know, I'm not going to spend any money if I don't have to, so probably not. Maybe I could make something out of wood. But uh, that was obviously an M8 before, going into this. Um, but the threads were all worn out, so I retapped it to M10. Uh, there's no vein, as I said. This I couldn't get off. I was worried about breaking the screw if I tried too hard. Um, all the rest of the... This is really part two, but... Um, I only just got this camera, so uh, I'll just have to explain what I did in part one and Justine has some photos that she'll post on Facebook. But uh, all these bolts here, everything was all rusty from different metals touching. So I um, managed to knock it off with a, off the tube with a block of, block of wood. And um, then uh, what I did is I cooked it on the st well, I cleaned everything in uh, vinegar and then boiling water, soap in vinegar. This is uh, the remainder of that here, half water, half vinegar and a bit of soap. Um, that's the little bronze piece that connects to the rudder stock. Um, that was in good condition, as you can imagine it was bronze so it should be. Um, so yeah, I heated these up to like 300 degrees on the stove and then I was able to knock the bolt out. Um, I only broke one bolt, um, which I can replace. Uh, let's go have a look at the shaft, which is 
in functionally good condition. Uh, this has a plastic bushing inside. I don't know if it's supposed to have a bearing on the new models, but this one doesn't. Um, there's a bearing up here. Some of the balls are missing, but there's I'll, uh, there's two bearings, one in here and one on the vein, and I'll give most of the balls to here. Um, you can, of course, get new ball bearings. They're plastic ones. I found uh, a place on China to get them. Uh, but that's not going to happen before I go to French Guiana, so we'll just have to survive as it is. As you see, the main shaft got beaten when someone was trying to remove it from the old boat, I guess. But both shafts are straight, so no, that's, nothing's going to be changed there for now. Now, um, yeah, these brackets you see in here, someone put onto the rudder to um, try and make it straight. And uh, you see here, it's almost straight now. We're about four millimeters out. It was uh, the point of bending like here, and there was another point of bending like here as well. But uh, that one's gone now. And uh, a lot of this was like scuffed over in this direction. It still is a little bit here. Um, but yeah, this is where that bracket went, which didn't help at all. It just ended up bending the metal over time. Um, but yeah, I'm going to close that with polyester resin. Epoxy would be good, but it's expensive here. So and I've got some polyester resin. Uh, I'm using epoxy for uh, the spacers. Uh, yeah, so from the same guy, I also got some teak. I'm gluing that together. I'm going to trim it down. These two are going to get joined. I'm just going to work on that joint soon. Uh, wait for the wind to get up because then it clears the sawdust off the deck. Uh, this is all covered in engine oil and everything. I don't think the guy even knew that it was teak, but um, I figured that I could clean it up. Uh, I used the worst end of the piece of wood to make that because I figured I could trim it down. Uh, yeah, that's the piece of wood it came from. This here, so I had to cut off some of the useless shape from it. And I have to make another one for the lower bracket. But that one doesn't need to be so long, maybe uh, so thick, maybe two centimeters. And uh, I want to have it as far aft as possible um, with the length of stainless tube that I have for it. So that's going to mean making a spacer for the top bracket about six centimeters or so. Um, so, yeah. I think uh, that's everything for a quick updates uh, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, bye bye guys.